Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to our new uh, featured show. Uh, it's called Awake in the Heart. And we have uh, uh, Lisa Fair is our hostess. And our guest today is David Hoffmeister. Anything else? <laughs> I'm hearing the applause <laughs> from the other room. From the other room. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. Um, you know, today we start again. Last week we were doing some um, what we call trial shows, and today is the is the real thing apparently. So awake in the heart. It wasn't. My heart's awake. How about yours? <laughs> uh, yes, very much so. <laughs> it it awoke in my heart. And now we're having a, a show. It's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> the powerful mind, My mind is so powerful. <laughs> Beautiful. So I just felt it would be really lovely to give those who are very new joining us a little sense of who David Hoffmeister is. David Hoffmeister is spirit. So I'm going to define something that's undefinable. Um, we have with us someone who is sharing the voice for God, and that's what's really important. And, and that can come through all of us. And David is one who's just allowed all the blocks to that voice coming through um, to be removed. So uh, David is known as a mystic, a modern day mystic. He's traveled the world, 39 countries. I need to sit down lower. <laughs> 39 countries over the last uh, 29 years. And he's very well renowned as A Course in Miracles teacher, also, um, which is a non-dual path. And so it appeals to people there. Many Buddhists have loved A Course in Miracles, but basically anyone who's felt a call to be happy for no earthly reason uh, finds him very appealing. So I'll leave you with my backstage hosts. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Sarah, beautiful. Okay, well, I think we're, uh, I think we've covered the bases, Jeff. Mm -hmm. And uh, are our hostess and guest ready? We are. All right. I'm going to unmute your mic. Okay. You're ready to go. Welcome, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for all the new uh, people joining our virtual community. I feel like this is just such a, I feel really excited. Really excited. I feel like well, look, my heart is bursting, actually. <laughs> I just have all this gratitude, just just very honored to be here to extend this love and the miracles and just really have the Holy Spirit show us. These shows are going to be very spontaneous. We don't have a plan. The only plan we had today was for David to come on the show. And we're going to just kind of watch and see what the Holy Spirit does through us like Jeff said, for us. So it, it, it's an opportunity for all of us to kind of be in this unfoldment of miracles and joy and love. And yeah, I just, I guess I feel really excited to be here with David just because we've been together for so long and have had a lot of practical application of forgiveness. Yes. At least I have. <laughs> <laughs> You've been my holy brother. Uh, it's been dear. It's been precious. And a good name, Awaken the Heart, because we've had many songs and <coughs> ways, of, of the way of the heart, and, and, and really that's the core of our being is love. And, you know, it's just a great experience to settle into this experience that, that there's nothing outside of your mind, there's nothing outside of your heart, mm. that we always, uh, it's kind of like a running joke that when we're doing a, a Skype call or a phone call or whatever, and the call drops, which now we're in the day and age of, of cell phones. When I started off doing this uh, 29 years ago or whatever, it, I don't know that we had many cell phones at that time. That was back in the old days where you had phones on the wall and so forth. But, but when the calls drop, we just smile and we go, oh, talking to myself again. Because <laughs> it's, it's an actual experience that that you, it's all connected and it's all one. You're not trying to reach somebody else. So Living Miracles Virtual, what a great name. I've been saying for years that the whole world seems digital to me and the whole world seems virtual. And in one sense, virtual reality has been with us for some time now. 
for quite a few years, uh, and we think of it as like generating a, a, an environment or a scenario that looks as if it's real. Mm. And that's, we could say that of the whole world. It just looks as if it's real, but it's all mind. It's all awareness, aware of itself, and we're all communicating with ourselves, and that's where the joy comes in when we mm. realize that, because then there are no expectations. It's not like you could or couldn't have them, or, or that there are people that could receive it well or, or not well, because it's all unified. And mm. I know you're really into quantum, quantum awakening. Mm. This is almost like a, mm. a transition. We went from living in the given to quantum awakening to now this show. This show. Awaken Which is an heart. honor because I feel like it is all for me. You said to me the other day, like, I have all this joy and all this love and, 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 you know, it's like, it needs to be shared. And so we have this studio here and I just feel so grateful that I can just extend that. And I don't even have a plan of how that's going to look. It just feels like this love wants to be given away. And it's all for me. Like you were saying, it's all my, it's all for me. The joy is for me. The happiness is for me. The forgiveness is for me. And just... Yeah, just this continuation of that, even with this. It's like, oh, let's see what happens. Yeah, yeah. It feels fun. It's just like we're showing up, and it's nothing has changed in all these years. No. Of just showing up in presence and and letting everything just flow and let all things be exactly as they are and see the perfection of everything. And it is, everything's unified. And so we're we're seeing that there really was no such thing as a personal perspective. Uh, that was just... A hallucination to think that we could be a private little speck of consciousness among a bunch of other billions of specks of consciousness or if you believe, believe that, uh, that the plants and the amoeba and everything has its own consciousness and that would be trillions of consciousnesses still doesn't make any sense too complicated just one of us here <laughs> there's only one of us here there's only ever been one of us here and that's why Jesus was teaching love your neighbor as yourself because your neighbor is yourself. Uh, it's not mm. like you should try to well up, try to get as much personal love as you can and then be able to go and love your neighbor across the fence and across the street. No, they're, they're just reflections of the one. Everything is a reflection of the one. And that's the beauty of what we're talking about. And this, we call this Christmas time and the holidays, but we, every day is, is Christmas. Mm. Every moment is the time of Christ. Mm. Every moment is the time of unconditional love, agape love. And so uh, it's fun. We actually have fun playing with the symbols, the spirits playing with the symbols all the time. <coughs> like our cat, <coughs> uh, <coughs> Sweetie, that's running around, racing down the hall like a horse galloping. And, you know, we just see the spontaneity <laughs> and the innocence reflected there, and that's just the way it, it is for all of us now. Mm. Yeah, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> feels very deep, actually. It feels like this fruition of the, the gifts that we're in this opportunity just to extend just the purification, because I know that just in our relationship, there's been a lot of forgiveness and a lot of healing. And so it's like clean, A Course in Miracles is very practical in, in cleaning the mirror of the mind. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we like the word unite, but unite is not, a, is not an action word. It's not really a, a verb. It's, it's an actual experience. It's like unification or unified field or unified mind or whatever you want to call it. Um, it's a state of being. It's not like we're trying to rally the people to come together. Mm. We're not. Uh, we're not trying to rally anything to happen in this world, and, and nothing can happen differently than it's, than it's happening. It's the perspective that's all important. It's not really about what happens or doesn't happen. And that's where we get into quantum, and that's where we get into this experience that's so joyful, and it's very relaxed. Uh, we watched a movie last night. Uh, Lisa wanted a change of pace, so we watched uh, Scarlett Johansson's Under the Skin. <laughs> and uh, 
That was an interesting one to watch. From Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. From Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to <laughs> Under the Skin. So if anybody wonders what kind of uh, movies we watch, <laughs> that's the range. <laughs> From Chitty Chitty Bang Bang to Under the Skin. Because it's all the same. Mm. And you were saying yesterday, I love the movie of our life. Uh, as we look around at the characters in our movie, as we look around at the scenes in our movie, we have such gratitude and appreciation just welling up in our heart mm. for this movie because we're into metaphysical movies and there was one year it was around 2014 it seemed like every month it was a blockbuster like oh whoa! And then whoa in february and whoa in march and and now uh, you know we're just enjoying the movie of our <laughs> life we're not spending much at the movie theaters anymore because we we look we Okay, we like the movie of our life better <laughs> than most. We like to watch the cat. We like we watch the cat. We right. watch the cat. <laughs> We're quite amused. <laughs> Pretty content just watching the cat. Yeah, we watch the grass grow in the summer. We watch the cat's <laughs> tail spin in the winter. <laughs> yeah, well, I you know what you were talking about. But I know on Periscope you said, uh, you know, it's almost like our body. I'm talking about the body. You know, I feel like that's a really, like the proper use of the body. Yeah. Yeah, I think that the Holy Spirit really sees everything in the world as neutral and then uses everything in the most glorious way, uh, in the most loving way, more than we could ever imagine. And yet, um, it's just a tendency in this world to judge the body either positively or negatively. Uh, I hear sometimes metaphysical students and course students say, well, if the ego made the body, that should tell you right away. It's evil. Uh, but the Holy it's Spirit evil. has, <laughs> has, if the ego is evil and it made it, then it's evil. But no, the Holy Spirit has a, a whole different interpretation, It's and that's as a communication function. So all the symbols can be used by the Holy Spirit. Mm. Everything that the ego made can be used to make a joyful noise unto the Lord, you know, that the Bible talks about, to be happy, to be joyful, to take it easy uh, on yourself. I, I have all these people I follow on Facebook, and one of them is Keanu Reeves, you know, Neo and, and uh, the one. And so he was talking today about how a friend of his, I think a friend of the family, had had eat right, had, had exercised, yoga, done all the things her whole life, to prevent illness and she was like in her 70s and she has seemingly cancer and she's going through all these treatments for cancer and then there's this other one that he mentioned who's like in his 80s he just eats lots of bacon and eats whatever he wants to eat and just da, 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 da. and his doctor pronounced him uh, with the health of a young man uh, I think that's one of the most striking things we can talk about is it's it's your state of mind it's your thoughts the, where your health come in. When you're thinking with God, when you're in a state of non-judgment, you're healthy, period. Mm. Health is inner peace, is what Jesus says. Jesus doesn't care about organic. Jesus doesn't care about exercise. Jesus doesn't care about nutrition. Jesus doesn't care about diet. Jesus doesn't care about clean air. Jesus doesn't care about free <laughs> radioactive free zones. Uh, when you're in the glory of God, what would any of that mean? It's a dream. It's a dream. If it's a dream, are you worried in your dream about your diet, about whether you're eating organic or whether it's got pesticides on your fruit in a dream? Or GMO. What does that even mean? GMO. <laughs> God, my... Lactose intolerant. I drink Gluten. about I drink about two gallons of milk a week. <laughs> I'm as happy as a bird. Uh, you know, I'm not. Am I lactose free? Hell no, I'm not lactose free. I'm lactose full. Uh, you know, we. This is the thing. If people want to, we love Jesus. If you want to get into non-duality, okay, let's go. Let's go. All the Advaita Vedanta people, you know, all the non-dual people, come on, let's let's. Let's play some non-dual oneness here. Let's play some unified field stuff here and everything. But I'm not going to... Uh, killing the plants and don't kill this kill, and don't kill, kill the that. Cows. The <laughs> ego is the, is the death wish. And, and when you transcend the ego, you've transcended death. Therefore, you see the killing's impossible. 
Therefore, you don't try to stop killing. You see that it never could have been there in the first place. So we won't get into all those details. But I love when you for, do. I for coming like, shows. I feel like we're making love or something. Coming, coming shows, just beware. If, if you have me on a guest with anybody else and you get into this vegetarianism or this or this or this, you know, it's like, oh, please. You know, we, we are here to be joyful. We're here to be happy. Mm. And Keanu Reeves was making the point today on Facebook in a lengthy thing. He said, live your life. After he told about the, the woman who did everything supposedly right and, and had cancer, and the guy who did everything wrong and was pronounced healthy, he was just pointing to live your life. You know, live it to the fullest. He was saying, you know, eat foods that are delicious. Go for what you want. You will learn if there's certain things intuitively that don't resonate mm. and they start to fall away. So be it. Mm. If they come back, so be it. You know, it's it's learning not to take anything of this world seriously and live in a state of happiness and joy. Because what else is God's will but perfect happiness? You know, that's what God's will is for your life, for your experience of life, for your experience of of a happy dream that leads to eternal life. It's it's to be happy and and that comes from non-judgment. Mm. So I'm not really interested in, in making a point with anybody or debating. I don't even know what it means to debate anymore. I, I don't mm. perceive a debate. Uh, you, you just live your life from your heart, mm. awake in the heart, mm. and then you let that radiate and extend to everything and everyone. And then you don't contest anything. You're not trying to win anything. You don't believe you can lose anything, that's for sure. Mm. We're, we're discovering that. And that's a, be a beautiful state of mind. Mm. Yeah, and it's a life of gratitude. I feel like that's really, then gratitude leads the way. I feel like every day I'm waking up in such gratitude just for nothing, just feeling this presence of God and feeling happy for no reason. And I feel like gratitude literally is opening up the doors. It's, 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 it's I don't know what's happening. It's like gratitude is just creating all these new pathways. And it's gratitude just for the peace, for the contentment. Yeah. And for this union with God and feeling this love in my heart, it's in, so big in my heart, I feel this union with God. That's all I ever yeah. wanted. Yeah. You know, yeah. I thought it was all these other things, but really just this feeling of completion and wholeness that's real. This union with God. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking on the Periscope right before the show about <coughs> how you had had a day, I think it was yesterday, that was a very like, deep. deep, just so deep. forget the world day where you just... You can just sink deep, deep inside and lose all awareness of the world and of time where you, there's no time thoughts like, oh, I've got to, I need to eat something or it's time to do this or time to that. It's giving yourself permission to let go of all thoughts of the past and future and seeing how practical that is and seeing everything's going beautiful too. It's like nothing is lost. And then then when you come here today and you're just so mm. available, mm. Uh, you're so filled up yeah. from the silence and from the stillness. It's so nurturing mm. to your soul that mm. it just comes oozing out all throughout the whole world. Mm. And that's that's the way to live. That's like the ebb and flow of going inward into the ebb of the silence and then letting the spirit just flow through you, through your awareness out and, and extend and it's very natural it I is very it. natural and actually even this morning i got up very early and then uh i really didn't even think i was going to talk at all i i got up and i said because we actually are doing a spontaneous dance party now if everybody wants to join us uh we don't know but like six o'clock in the morning i know we had the studio rocking this morning and Jeff over there, he didn't know if we left the music on or what, but <laughs> but I actually woke up and I just was so in such delight, really, act, yeah, in my room and I thought, okay, I said Monday morning, we'll see how it goes because we really do live very spontaneously. We don't have a plan, like in the moment, it's these great ideas, but you know, just the idea enough is enough for me now. I don't even have to follow through. I have these great ideas, and then it's like, oh, that's a great idea. And it's in the moment, because you even know it fades as soon as it comes. I, that's, yeah. I think you said, because we were thinking about renting this theater over here for this dance party. But, you know, it's like you never know. Uh, I, I feel like, you know, so I woke up this morning and just feeling in love with God. 
and and just in my love and then I thought well I'm probably not going to be into any dance party I'm feeling pretty soft and and Kristen who was like all fired up <laughs> she, she was it. totally fired up she's <laughs> like I'm into it and Eric's coming too and we're into it and I said okay well I'll just sit out here and see what happens and turns into the alarm clock for the whole place to get help got Jeff out of bed and it, it's, and we're playing some old together. disco music you know what I mean I don't know where it's coming <laughs> from but <laughs> Huh? Stay alive. Stay alive. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyhow, it was just this really great thing because just this coming together, you know, I actually just love living in community. Uh, I never thought I'd ever say that in my whole life because uh, I was very independent. I was an independent, independent woman. But just the gift that we're together in this and really all of us in this spontaneity and no expectations from each other. We're just allowing everything to be exactly as it is. But I came out here and it was so beautiful because you guys, Kristen really hopped right into the vibe. We did a periscope. We just turned the periscope on. Eric started, you know, gyrating his hips and everybody. And all of a sudden, you don't know, all of a sudden I went, the party began and we were rocking. We were rocking. And then, and then too, then it's like, okay, done with that. You know, really yeah. just these spontaneous combustions of this joy and this gratitude, really. Yeah. And this is from what we're doing now, this like virtual broadcast and everything, you know, this really <laughs> this really is our community. I mean, when people try to define I'll tell you one thing. If you define anything, you don't know it. Because God can't be defined. Mm -hmm. And Christ really can't be defined. And therefore, if you define anything, you can't know it. So we use a bunch of words, but to tell you the truth, you know, people say, how big is your community? How big? How big is the undefinable? Uh, how big is love? It's not a matter of big and small. You can't quantify love. Mm. And you can't quantify mm. this heartfelt experience mm. of community. We're all in community. And over mm. the years, you know, people try to define it by geographic space and where are you and what do you do and what are your rules and what are your guidelines? You know, we've been, that's old news. That's been done for history, you know. Are you like the Essenes? Meh. The Apostles? Meh. You know, we have, we like to share. We like to extend. We don't believe in ownership. We don't believe in possessing. Uh, we believe that love is, is a free-flowing experience that cannot be defined. Um, I, what I like about this new virtual, this TV show and our Living Miracles virtual is basically people just have to, they just have an internet connection. They download the free software, they're in their pajamas or they're on the beach or whatever, they take along their little device or wherever, wherever they are, they just, oh, they tune in. These Periscope things are great because you get notified, mm. they're so spontaneous. I think I'm, I might just have a time where I'm just out on the loose, like I always have been for the last 29 years, but I got the old iPhone in the pocket, I decided to do a Periscope and Maybe somebody in the East Coast, Jacob Shapiro, he says, come on over for dinner. Well, I happen to be on the East Coast. I'm like, okay, I'm doing my little periscope here, but I'll be over there for dinner. What are we having tonight? Uh, imagine how free your life could be if you just floated all over the world, sharing your love and your joy, being taken into people's homes. And I've already been doing it before there was periscope. I, I started that... 20 some oh, years yeah, ago. Right. I'm going around. We used pay phones back then right. as our communication. We didn't have cell phones. We had pay mm. phones, little boxes. And I started doing this. I'd go in a little box like Superman, you know, go to the change. I'd go in my box and I'd call up. they say, come on over for dinner. Then I'm there for three or four days. I'm on to the next place. You need a ride. You need a ride to this. I didn't use airplanes back in those days. I, I walked. I had a little three-cylinder car that had... 40 miles a gallon, I scooted around, and without Periscope and everything, I was doing this Living Miracles virtual back then, mm. because it's just everyone's your family, everyone you meet is your family, everywhere you go is your family. When you're in a friendly state of mind, the whole world is friendly back to you. Giving and receiving are the same, as you sow, so shall you reap. You know, karma, all this is, is operating as a, a law of the universe. And just imagine now, I just have fun thinking of scooting around, not knowing where I'm going day to day, having my little uh, iPhone, my little periscope, I can broadcast live, I can go accept invitations. 
You're sitting there in a in an airport. You're chatting to the person next to you. How are you doing? Isn't this a lovely day? Oh, yes, it is. You're smiling. You're happy. You don't even care what you're talking about. You're not trying to say the world's not real, and you, you know you should better pay attention. You know, it's you're not doing any of that because you don't need to. Right. It's your own experience. Mm. It's dreamy. And you watch what comes into that. It's oh. so beautiful. It's like, oh, thank you, God. Oh, thank you, God. It's like excited to see who shows up in that awareness. Just, yeah, yeah it's all these holy encounters. Yeah, yeah. And so when people say, well, I don't know about some of those radical teachings of Jesus, like leave all behind, leave everything behind and follow me. That's just saying... Leave all the concepts and definitions of the world behind and be happy. That's what that means. I'm going to retranslate that for somebody who thinks that you have to, Oh my God, I've never seen my child again. I'll never see my, mm. my family again. He's going to be, I'm going to be a hobo. I'm going to be a bag lady if I follow Jesus. No, you aren't. You're not going to be a bag mm. lady. You're not going to be homeless and a hobo. You're going to be happy. Because that's what he meant. Leave all behind. Leave all the judgments and the concepts Leave all the false identifications behind and live in joy, live in glee, mm. live in happiness. And, you know, St. Augustine goes way back, you know, over there to Europe, and, and he, a theologian and a, a beautiful teacher, but he said, love and do what you will. Be in the experience of the love. Live mm. in your heart. Mm. Be in the experience of love. And don't be concerned about the doing mm. because your behaviors are automatic. They come from what you think. You don't have to worry about doing the right thing or acting right or being a nice person even. You don't, isn't that great? You don't even have to be a nice person. That's, re that's relieving. And you don't have, and no friends. There's yeah. no friendships. There's no, you're friendly, but you don't have to, to maintain these friendships. When did, you, when did you last call me? Well, it's about time you called me. You know, I haven't heard from you. For, no, that's all out, out the window too. The laws of friendship. Check it out. Lesson 76. I am under no laws but God's. He even lists the laws of friendship in there. You want to get into some non-dual? Let's go. <laughs> Come on. No friends. Look it up. Come on, Look check it, it out. Check it out. How many friends do you have? Zero. Come on. Well, you know, Helen says in, in the one thing, God is your only friend. Yeah. God is your only friend. <laughs> You're right. I love that. I was reading, too, I was about a week or two ago, where Yogananda was talking to his disciples, and he was saying, yeah, he said, he said, really, friendship is, is not required, and it's not helpful, unless you and your friends are devoted to the Lord. Mm. Okay, Yogananda, that's non-dual. <laughs> that's non-dual. Because when you're in the joy, you're, when you're connected to everything and everyone, why do you need certain ones to call friends and certain ones to call enemies and certain ones that you're indifferent to? Which typically, that's the ego's perspective. Oh, these are my dear friends, my close friends, mm. my loved ones. These are my enemies over here. And these are the other billions of indifferent. I could care less. Mm. Blah, blah, blah. You know, that's just the ego's perspective on the world. And there's really no joy mm. in that at all. No, reciprocity. Reciprocity. All I did for you. Yeah. After all I did for After you. After all I did, did for you. <laughs> and you didn't even call me. That's right. Not a Christmas card. No. Oh my gosh. God. <laughs> what a drag. What a drag to maintain these concepts. It's a drag. Yeah. And we're, we're through with the drag. You yeah, know? we we're are not, through we are, with the drag. I don't know why I keep hearing this because I feel like even that, uh, you know, you're talking about, you know, traveling and doing all this stuff, but about divine providence. You know, I, I want you to talk about the divine providence even that you've been living these last 20, how many years? I have no idea. Yeah. 27 years. Yeah. Well, it, it's basically trusting in the spirit for everything. So, you know, you don't really think of even having a breath uh, to your own. Mm. You you give all the glory to God with everything. So, so then you just accept what's given because you know that it's given for your own good. And everything that you believe you need is, is handled in that. Mm. And I think, honestly, if we all just take a moment, we can think, well, in our lives, even as our seeming lives on earth, we've had everything that we need. We maybe couldn't say that we've had any, everything that we wanted, because wanting is like a loose cannon. I mean, want, 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 want. You know, you, that can just go on and on. 
Um, that was like the movie we watched last night. Uh, the under the skin. Under the skin. It seemed like the guys that didn't want anything were were fine. It's the the guys that wanted something right. kind of shriveled <laughs> shriveled away in the darkness. Yeah. It's not didn't sound too good shriveling in the darkness. But but when you want something, you're saying you're lacking and you're saying you need something to fill that void. Mm. And so to me divine providence is starting to feel the the joy mm. of the spirit and you feel the orchestration of everything and therefore your attention is pulled away from the things of the world. You're not concerned about how will I eat? Uh, how will I have a roof over my head? How will I make it from point A to point B? All the things that really are given so much importance in this world don't really have any importance. Mm. When you're in the divine flow everything's just happening. And think about the fairy tales. When we're watching a fairy tale, you know, uh, Cinderella's not going and checking her ATM balance or her <laughs> checkbook balance. They're not concerned about where the food's going to come from. They just move from scene to scene to scene. And we hear this, we get to see the story. But it's, it's very lovely that way. Mm. And I think my life now feels like, like a very happy fairy tale where I just seem to watch the scenes go by and people say what they say or do what they do and it's all like props and it's all backdrop. But it's just there's no attention put on this thing of need. Because mm. uh, when we start focusing our thoughts on to need, we're actually focusing on this sense of lack. Mm. And how are we going to fulfill it? Thinking we have to provide the means mm. physically in time and space to fulfill this whole when this hole isn't even there, mm. and divine providence shows you that, that there's no hole. Mm. Because we abide in the wholeness. Yeah, we are it's the wholeness. Right, yes. the wholeness is, yeah, it's not denying that wholeness anymore. Yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, it's so it easy. It is beautiful. And it's so welcoming. I mean, I feel, I do feel like this show is, is just kind of the, the beginning of the beat will go on and on and on. I think there will be all kinds of guests that mm -hmm. will come and grace the stage, uh, enjoy the props. It's more like uh, we're all part of the family of light, and so yeah, maybe that's a name for another show, Family of Night. We've got a, <laughs> we got so many talented people here that are gonna. <laughs> Everybody's raising their right. hand. I want to do the Family of Light <laughs> dance party, the laughing sitcom. You know, I mean, all these kind of things. What well, we had one the other day. Uh, Got spark? Oh right, 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 right. <laughs> Every day we come up with these new ideas. It's like, and and they might like fizzle out, or you never know. You never know. Gonna, I know. It's like, it's, is anybody going to bite that, or is it going to just fizzle off? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything life takes care, so everything is provided. Everything's taken care of, and and you can really relax and enjoy the ride. Enjoy your life. Enjoy every single moment to the fullest, without having to get into this, like. <coughs> I need, 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 work, 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 solve, 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 figure out, figure out, and then you give yourself a little strip of rest time and rest and leisure. Uh, I'm always at work, I'm always at play, mm. I'm always on vacation, and I'm always in divine leisure. And uh, in service. You're always in service. It. Yes, I'm always feeling like I'm in the service. You are, yeah, you are in the service. We're yeah. in service. Yeah. Up, and, up at four or yeah. five in the morning, Shining, sharing, mm. extending, that feels natural, mm. okay, get on to the next thing, have a cup of tea, up, mm. let the cat in. Where can God use us next? Where can I be used? Yep. I, I've been used as, this body's been used as a doorman for cats for many mm -hmm. years. Still goes on. <laughs> it goes 29 years and things haven't changed. Meow, meow. Okay, all right, There's I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> they like hang out outside your door. Well, I have to, last night, it was like late at night, meow, meow, so I opened the door and oh, sweetie was racing all over the place and everything. <laughs> and finally, you know, ten something, just, I get ready to go to bed and jumping mm -hmm. on my leg, on my head, you know, all this and this. And so I thought, well, maybe if I have a little utility room with, uh, you know, kitchenette. Right, thingy, right. I said maybe that's the best place for sweetie. Oh, in the UK, <laughs> right? Outside, inside. So I, I have a little rug in there. I, I close the door and everything and. And then I got some sleep, and then this morning, I don't know, when I got up, yeah, he heard me up and came right back out, and he's just all over the mm. place as I'm getting ready to record the text mm. and the lesson of the day that I do, and he was right there with me, and then I took him out of my hands and took him around, you know, 
get to his food dish down at the other end of, of the hall, uh, with the sunroom and everything. So, yeah, it's just beautiful. It's just uh, it's caring. There's a, there's a service, mm. and serving whatever is around you, whatever comes to mind. If there's someone to have a Skype call with, if there's somebody that you need to answer a call for, whether it's the cat at the door or somebody calling for for love. Mm. Oh, star. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very spontaneous. So you've been you are living in spontaneity now. Yeah. And so we don't have a plan and it just seems like what's happening and it's following the vibe. Is that yeah. it? I think, you know, a friend of mine from Canada wrote me this thing. She said, Don't project your spontaneity into the future <laughs> and I was like, Okay. I'm not gonna talk about the future then. It's like really good. I'll just show up because I like that. You know, there are things where it seems to still serve when people have a little notice. But mm. but I thought, well, maybe just trusting that everyone will know what they need to know. So it's beautiful. It's a beautiful feeling of not having to like project the future at all, you mm. know, just kind of show up. And uh, none of us really know. I mean, it's it's this hypothetical thing anyway. So. Mm -hmm. You know, after a while, it's like you, you go into that stillness and your mind isn't drawn mm. into anything. Any no plans. Concept, no plans. Yeah. Yes, yeah, like I feel like for me, just even just the high ideas are enough. Really, like I like to lay in the gratitude and then I think mm -hmm. about or whatever and I don't know. And then they just kind of come or go. Like there isn't a plan with them. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. It's just very easy that way. And I think the other thing is if you have no plans and you, you're just totally open, then you are really available. Mm. And I think that's the key to being in flow of love is also just openness and availability. Mm. When you're open-minded, you don't have preconceptions of what should happen or what you should do in form, but you are very, very available. You're available, you know, I had a friend sent me a voice message to three voice messages today so I listened to them and, and responded you have the space for that mm. um, when when you get preoccupied with things of the world or the future or the past and past resentments you, you really aren't available mm. for what's now mm. and I think everything is available now so it's good to be available for the now because that's where you experience you, who you are and who everyone is it's beautiful yeah, I'm hearing. Do we want to open it up if anybody has any questions? Does that feel good? Yes. Yeah. Christmas time. Or Christmas. <laughs> Does anybody have any questions? If you want to raise your hand or. Go ahead, Gay. <laughs> Hi. Hi. It... Hi, Kay. Can you turn it off? Hi, up? David and Lisa and Jeff and Andy. Hi. Hi. Um. Um. I got my feelings hurt, and so I wanted to talk about getting my feelings hurt um, because I posted something on Facebook, and David put your name on it so that you would respond to my um, what I thought was really cool. And so then when you didn't respond to – anyway, what I wanted to um, share with you was a song from the Talking Heads, uh, and it was it's entitled – heaven i know it oh i, I know that song oh very well oh I my gosh so most of all yeah i wanted you to um remember that song um, because the words about the kiss that when it ends it begins again and yeah. uh it it just had the cool and i had no idea that they were um writing stuff like that i don't yeah. know stuff like that but that was delightful yeah yeah when this party's mm -hmm. over it will start again mm -hmm. it will never end <laughs> everybody's here <laughs> that's great that's beautiful mm -hmm. i thought you were going to say this song and there she was there's a couple songs that the talking heads did that were pretty out there yeah 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 i was living in the spiritual community in about 1994 1995 when Somebody came in with that song, Heaven, and we all were just like, whoa. I haven't heard it before. It's just really good. It, everything's exactly the same. Mm. You know, it's just, it's yeah, very profound lyrics. Thank you, Kay. That's, that's
that brings war warmth to my heart just thinking about that song and thinking about you and seeing your little Christmas scene that you've got there. We're like right there in your living room with you. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Very good. Anyone, Anyone else? Have a question? Okay, I think I'm I'm feeling for you, Eric, maybe to, to sing a song. Can you okay. come up here? And yeah. He can. Eric can. Uh, just came back from California. He was there for a couple days, and he arrived back last night. Just, you can stay, David. Ooh. It's really beautiful because we're all in this collaborative venture, and everybody's having so much fun, and he didn't even want to leave. <laughs> he said, oh, I don't want to leave and miss the pizza party, and we were going to watch Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. <laughs> Now he's, he's into TV and he gyrates the zips. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I I'm sure like, today. Mom and Dad, are you tuned in for this? <laughs> well, then, and this morning, when he was up there dancing, I said, he's like a Chippendale. I said, he's you know capable of many things. Uh, you ladies out there strippers. just know this. <laughs> he's a Chippendale. He's a Chippendale. We he's need a Chippendale. to. Well, you know, you get naked. Then, you know, it's a new Chippendale. Oh. <laughs> that was jam. <Jeff. laughs> <laughs> we were we were jamming it. We were. Oh we were yeah, Six, I don't think I've ever danced at six a.m. Uh, like, Listen, you know, that was the early. See, see, we're really into new. We're really so into new it. experiences. <laughs> you know, I love to notice. I thought I love to like be in this experience and say, "Wow, I never experienced this before. This is brand new." And there was a brand new experience this morning. But Sarah was in her pajamas. We were bedhead and everything, and we were we were getting one down. Oh yeah, it was oh, yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it was I'm interested to see what song do you play after that intro. I know. I, I had one in mind earlier. I'm just gonna go with. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Yeah. We've never seen there. this yeah. before. No, no. <laughs> Beautiful. I have tried to find my own way back home. Learned it's pointless without a guide. I lost my way in the woods of confusion in space and time. I lost myself inside my mind. In my mind. In my mind. Fortunately, it's just in my mind. Love is the only answer to all the questions I have tried answering all by myself. It's only made me tired. So tired. Try to do it all myself. Now I'm tired. Cause it's not so easy to lie to myself anymore. Something's calling me back to who I was before. I cannot keep running.
can't remember I'm already home Never alone Though I've traveled in dreams I've never left my home Never left home Though I've traveled in dreams I've never left my Good stuff. Yeah, we were all in this vibrant joy. It's it's like it's a collaborative venture too. I love that. That we don't we're together. I love that mm -hmm. that we have each other. I'm just in love with that. Yeah, yeah. Do we have some guests that are gonna roll on here today or well, you're the one. I'm the one, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know if there was <laughs> Maybe, oh you know what would be a really beautiful one? You know who I'd love to have come? Anna Carroll, mm -hmm. you know, she told me she would love to come and talk about her prayer and support group. Mm -hmm. Okay. And she actually said she would be available anytime. Wouldn't that be beautiful? That would be great. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Anna Carroll has just been around uh, it, for, with us for years. You know, lots of us have lived together for lots and lots of years. I mean, are, are been it's like who God put together, no one put, can put us under. Yeah. And it's been really a demonstration of that and just how beautiful, you know, we actually went to lunch or something the other day. It was so funny. The characters that were sitting together that we would have never hung out with each other ever if it wasn't for this divine orchestration of the spirit. Yeah. And, and how every one of us comes from different walks of life. You know, it, it's just really interesting to look at and, and just in full appreciation, too. How this design of the spirit, like this perfect casting. And Anna Carroll, I think she was like one of the very first volunteers back at the Peace House there yeah, in Cincinnati. She was there. Actually, before we came out to Utah, we, we have, her nickname is AC, so we call her AC. And, and she was one of the ones that uh, came out there, over there. Uh, Lila, right across from where you were living, we were over at the, the Holy Spirit House, I think, talking about... Uh, getting together and maybe going out to Utah. And AC was right there. And she cooks when she feels inspired to, which is a lot. Yeah, So, every day. you know, you walk through this house and there's homemade cooking, there's cake, banana cake, or there's mm -hmm. all kinds of co cookies, baked goods, oh you name it. Just uh, uh, She's in her joy. She's really in the joy. She does the gardens. She's really in this service. She is a demonstration of this joy of service. And prayer and support. And prayer and, and support. She, when you call in and you need prayer, then AC is prayer and support, among many other things. But she's all decked out in purple here. and so She wasn't she's expecting gonna, this no, for you, Anna Carol. This is a spontaneous <laughs> thing. She's talking about special and star and, and the public launch. And I thought, well, that doesn't have anything no. to do with prayer and support. No, no. Can you move over just a little bit? There I'm you close. go. There you go. Oh, that's so beautiful. This is oh. our joy. <laughs> Talking about God and answering prayers. So we thought, we just told him some of the things you've been with us since we were talking about across the street from Lila there in Cincinnati and that thing. But here it is. And, and now prayer and support is, uh, as well as so many other things. Maybe you can just tell us a yeah, little bit about that. Yeah, your joy. Talk about your oh, joy. It's, it's just been such a, a blessing to me when I, you know, I'm scared before I get on the call and it, these guidelines that are on the, the thing about this is all for me a chance to look at my mind and to to see what's what's going on within myself, get in touch with my beliefs. and uh, So when I am on the call, I'm seeing such a beautiful reflection there in front of me that I, I get in my right <laughs> mind and start <laughs> feeling so much gratitude and so much blessing because 
in in just seeing the truth that's behind whatever the the upset is and and joining in prayer because I really don't know really don't have a clue what if anybody's asking for advice and sometimes they do that I, I can't give advice mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. really what to do but I'm just in so much joy when I get off the call mm -hmm. I just just want to share it with everybody so mm -hmm. it's it's really a blessing to be able to do it. Oh, it's a blessing to have you do it. I said, if anybody calls, I know that if I would need a prayer, I would love that you were on the other end of the call. Just knowing I can just feel your presence is so beautiful. Your presence and your devotion. And like you saying, like you, I just feel like you're like this, like the wings of the Holy Spirit, holding out the wings mm -hmm. for the Spirit to come in. And we were just sharing just even how we love your cooking, too. <laughs> <laughs> we well, love that cooking, cook. <laughs> Carol. We want, usually like one meal a day here, yeah. and 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 Anna Carol's usually the most. Yeah, just the hostess. The the smell of fresh baked, you name it, is is the aroma that goes through the house. <laughs> so it's almost like, you know, those old days of to grandmother's house we go, where you where you just have that feeling. You know, we've got snow, like five or six inches of snow <laughs> outside, like snow woman. on the trees, a couple of Christmas trees with decorations, chestnuts roasting, roasting on an open, open fire. fire. <laughs> <laughs> we've been doing a lot of Christmas caroling lately, too. It's really fun. We're, we're like actually discovering that we're a great choir, you know? It's like, wow, we sound great. <laughs> And then it's like, which one do you know? You know, we didn't yeah. even know that we knew yeah. these songs. In the car. Yeah, that was so great. Yeah. I, there's always something that yeah, somebody it is. brings in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's just, it's you're beautiful. such a blessing. You're a blessing in our lives. Yeah. And we just wanted to share you with the whole world. Just, yeah. Just, you know, I just feel like you are just a symbol, and I mean this, Anna Carol, just a symbol of uh, the joy of service. And also, I know, like, oh, you've been even saying no. When you don't feel it, being yeah. in this authenticity that is coming from your heart. Yeah. That it That's really is important. truly coming from the That's joy of important. that you feel that. Yeah. The yes is important and the no. When when on AC doesn't feel to cook for the whole house. We all say uh, yay. We go, yeah, yeah. <laughs> AC's not cooking today. Yeah, it's like and yay, okay. So, you know, it's it's that's that's the joy of it comes from within. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Now listen, yeah. uh, maybe we can just let everybody know where they can call. I mean, where? How do people contact you? What? What? Where do? It's up on the chat. I just chatted the link. Okay. Oh. So if they go to yeah. livingmiracles.org, and then what do they click? On prayer and prayer and support. Mm -hmm. and prayer and support. Then they fill out a form. It's like what what the request is, and that gets passed down to me. Great. Beautiful. Or if there's somebody else doing yeah. it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are there a couple of people doing it, or is it just? I, I'm not sure now. I think. Mm. Uh, it evolves Colin, over the Colin years. Is involved Colin. In, right. In dispersing the the form. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Annie Carroll. <laughs> Sarah, do you want to come and share something? Okay. Now a word from our sponsor, Spirit. Yeah, <laughs> Sarah. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it was really beautiful. Um, one of Lisa's thoughts when she was talking about doing happy hour was this idea of, like, transcending the body. Mm. You know, and, you know, I think transcending the body is so much about transcending the self-concept because I was lying in bed going, well, I don't know what time it is, but I'm not sure I'm into this. <laughs> you know, this, like, morning. this morning. This morning. I was in the dark, and I was like, I'm not sure I'm into this. You know, so I just allowed all those thoughts. Like, I just allowed all those thoughts. And then, you know, when I found myself get out of bed, and it was still five to six, then I went downstairs. So I decided to make a cup of tea. And then the next thing, I find myself walking down the corridor <laughs> into, into here in my pajamas, thinking, well, you know, I'll just have a look then, because, well, I probably wouldn't feel like dancing in my pajamas. And by the time I came in here, it was just, the thing is that it has to be authentic. Right. Everything has to be felt. There's, there's no one here has a, even a point to teach 
or anything to prove, you know, and it, it what felt so lovely was I felt so happy. Mm. I suddenly felt so happy. You started with Joe Joppy's song, and I just my yeah, whole being. I love that. One. David, David, we're gonna start doing the, We're going to start the morning off every morning with that song. I think so. That's Listen, what I heard. Guess what it says? The very first line, and it says, "As your heart opens up," mm. and you know, I don't even want to know what it was, but it was like, "As your heart opens up." Uh, go, I, we should play that song. It's a really good song, <laughs> but it's talking about that your brother. You literally are your, your brother. brother. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, I, am, I had been an actress and, you know, I had spent lots of time in front of the camera. I've seen myself 30 feet high, you know, wide, 18 feet high. And it, it's just all gone. There isn't the judgment like that, you know. I was just dancing away and I just felt really happy. And I think I went, I, got, I had a whim day yesterday. I got to go out. The spirit sent me out to, to get some, some new clothes, and which was a real, real treat. And here I am, I'm laughing and going, I got sent out to get new clothes and I'm in my pajamas on TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not even matching pajamas. And I, I loved that because I think there was some little part of myself, even as I shopped yesterday, had this thought of like, you know, as if I was dressing a body. But it's a self-concept that's being let go of. Like it's an idea of a self. <clears throat> and that idea of the self is the one that's interacting with everything. And so that for me is the experience now transcending mm. the body is, is really this idea of my myself that mm. I have. It's so false. Mm. It's so fake. It doesn't match up with anything, even in this world I seem to perceive. It, mm. it doesn't even actually match anymore. It's mm. just it's just not it's just not it. And I feel very devoted to that now. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah, that you can put your heart into. Yeah. 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 And it feels um simple. Mm. It just feels like however I am and, and you have such encouragement for the authenticity right now and somehow it, it I it's I'm like I'm ready I'm just ready to to receive it. Mm. Like I bought <laughs> Yesterday. Oh, you got married. <laughs> yes. I'm engaged with life. This oh, is my I'm okay. engaged with life. It was noticed there was is a that sparkle. From Old Navy? <laughs> yeah. I, I was looking in that rack. Too. There was a 50% sale <laughs> off at Old Navy. <laughs> the whole store. It was hilarious. Because we went in there and and you, everybody got got, no, got no, something. Just, I kept like all this out. stuff. 99 right bucks. <laughs> it was like, are you kidding? Merry Christmas. The whole <laughs> store is 50% off. You know, we love those discounts and those coupons. It's like the guidance of the spirit. Oh, 50% off. We're going to head over there. That's so great. Did you get the ruby slippers too? And, and no, I skipped the ruby slippers. I, I got I got cowboy boots. Okay. There you go. Yay! Yay! So it was like, it was, you know, it's like, I, I, I looked at it and you she goes, is it plastic? I said, yeah. And she looked at me and said, but I love it. <laughs> so I was like, you know, it's like, if we're okay with fake, just don't pretend about mm. it. You know, yeah. so it's like, you know, I'm starting to feel this happiness. And when we were in Savers, it, this experience came over me. I went, oh, I feel suddenly really strange. What's happening? I was like, oh, I think I'm shopping. What a strange thing. And like, the, the, what was strange is I couldn't come up with what I might like. Or what would I wear? Or what, what did I want? There wasn't, there was a kind of a, a lull there where usually it'd be like, I'll have this, this, this. It just went away. And I, I felt in my heart, I called. And I just, so I said, oh, okay, I'm just really in an experience. And, and maybe objects will come towards me, but I'm not looking. I wasn't looking for anything. And it was really beautiful. And then I got these swims in a row. I've always, since I was 18, wanted a pair of cowboy boots. The next thing, they just were somewhere. They're not supposed to be. They even said they were men's. They weren't. They even said they were the wrong side. They weren't. But I heard these are for you. And when I put them on, I walked all over the store and then they were so comfortable. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like a little kid putting yeah, on the yeah, cowboy boots. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that's what it felt like. And and even when it officially the clock said it was 7.05, which meant you should really be on the road to go and pick Eric up from the airport. I turned around and I said, I'm feeling to go for Thai food. Are you? <laughs> and yet, yet it was like, yeah. Oh, that's so beautiful. Yeah. And of course, what we actually get to eat our Thai food and pick Eric up in perfect time because Aww. it was all collapsing into what was yeah. really given. And we were in total trust that we didn't spend too long doing one thing versus another, that actually everything was given and we just sunk into that. Mm. Yeah. And, uh, so. So after years of hearing Monica on Touched by an Angel, God loves you. Now we look at our Irish broke here, and she's demonstrating. God loves you. God loves you. 
that's it. Oh, that's cute. God loves you. <laughs> so I just came in to share that. That's very good. That God does, in fact, love you. Oh, mm, that's on. beautiful, that's Sarah. It's really beautiful. Maybe you can come up here, Kristen. Come on up. <laughs> you know, my my idea today was even to bring out everyone that's leader. here that that lives together and just. But not every everybody's like, okay, I don't know, Lisa. <laughs> You're a little out of control there, Lisa. <laughs> You're blowing everything up. <laughs> but we have the people that are here, so again. Yeah, let's hear about the uh, dance party I know, today. We're, we're going with the flow. There we are. Listen, I don't know if you've watched some previous shows, but actually I said, you know, you never know when you're going to need a belly dancer. <laughs> and you know what I mean? You never know. Skills and abilities. I'm telling Come you. Come in handy. Well, you know, I was watching because when Eric was playing, it was really cool because they were like the doo-wop, doo-wop girls. <laughs> and you know, when I was little, I thought, oh, that's always what I want to be. I want to be a doo-wop, doo-wop girl. But you guys back there, it's like, wow, we got our doo-wop, doo-wop girls. It kind of looked like laughing because it was yeah, a right, little box. Yeah, right, right. I know, you know, I know, like I know. This I know. show where they were just like in the, in the box. It's beautiful. <laughs> so you were up bright and early today. Yeah, yeah. Dance has always been able to do that for me. It just like just rips through and the movements just come and Yeah, just really powerful actually. It's mm. a really powerful way to just open the heart for me. Mm. To just let it all go. So Yeah, you said when I had the idea you could that's my happy dream. That's yeah. like I can't believe that. That it was happening. Yeah, it's really interesting with this virtual thing. It's like even Periscope just came out. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you can press a button and that in an instant we can be extending throughout the whole universe. You know, just sharing together, coming together. I think it's just really that's what my heart is feeling. Just this, yeah, extending in a way that is, it's about being happy. You know, we got called it happy hour this morning. And it really is about, you know, starting your day out, the mind training and, and, you know, expressing and that happiness really, even in the dance, I always love dance too, because you don't need any words, mm. you know, you can just really kind of go into the experience and allow that experience to express through you where it does transcend this mm. body identification, like really just feel this love and let it move through you more of uh, and I feel like that's how the body dancing or the belly dancing always reminded me body yeah. dance. <laughs> She's a body dancer. Oh. Yeah. Okay. What else would you be dancing? <laughs> that's it. It's like yeah. it. It actually like you're just talking about expression session. Like we go to that after, but that's kind of my expression session. It's like just this way of letting that which doesn't have words just come out, and it you right. know it looks like whatever it looks like. You know these really smooth movements or something more like even like forceful i don't know it was, it was just like talking for me it was mm. always so mm. so strengthening and so powerful and empowering and mm. and uh i really appreciate it first thing in the morning because yeah. it's like yeah. everything just, just gets washed is. in that and i i feel like i just am very clean after yeah. you know what's so fun too is that because a lot of times people say well, how's this going to work if i give my life over to spirit will what things will come in or what things will be taken away or all this and this but but I, your skills and abilities seems to be used by the spirit. Cause you like organizing, and and this uh, nation builder that we have has been like a whim of using those skills. The dance party is using the whim for that. And then maybe you can tell a little bit about the time when Jason took you over to the monastery for the first time, because that was a major whim. And people don't understand whims. You know, we use that word, but people say, well, what's the difference between like an ego preference and a whim. Um, a whim is the Holy Spirit's use of an ego preference to unwind you from all preferences, mm. to see the sameness of all things. So you see it's a big difference between just an ego preference and a whim, which is the Holy Spirit's use of it. And then Jason mm -hmm. took you to the monastery and just what was that experience for you when you went over there? You just were looking around telling him, oh my God. Yeah, I started to get upset. It was really wild because I didn't understand what was happening. But um, I'd never been to our monastery before and, and he took me up there and just showed me around. And there's all these like tiny houses and just out in the boonies and just so beautiful and expansive. And um, like the houses are just so gorgeous. You walk in the kitchen. It's just like I was totally blown away. 
And I was sitting at the table, and actually, like, I remember being like, I, I don't feel good right now. Like, what's happening? And, and then it just sort of morphed, and I was like, this is absolutely everything I would have left for. I would have been, no, I really want to play out the homesteading thing. I really want to go live out in the woods on my own. And, like, just the, um, the desert, like, it, almost even the exoticness of it. It was, like, everything that I had ever really wanted. And it was all contained right there in that moment. And I was like, I'm not upset. I'm just totally blissed out. I just can't believe that it's all here. Give it, like, without you seeking it. That's, the, that's another distinguishing characteristic of a whim, since it's the Holy Spirit using the preference, the Holy Spirit brings it in to give you an experience of fulfillment with what you thought you wanted, but without you personally pursuing it. It's this amazing experience when you're surrounded by what you thought you wanted, mm. and you didn't do anything mm. to get it. You see how different that is from ego goals, where you have a, a fantasy, and you work so hard, and you use so much energy to direct yourself so you can attain that goal in the future. And then this is the Spirit saying, Oh, my beloved child, thank you for devoting your life to Spirit and flesh. Holographically, quantum, it's all given. In a, and it's kind of an overwhelming experience because we've all had that experience where we're like, Huh. Like Lisa, when she first traveled with me, she enjoyed smoking. And we would go to restaurants across, starting with whatever, Cincinnati, across to Kansas. We would stop at restaurants and we would, they would say smoking or non-smoking. I'd say smoking. So we'd go sitting in the smoking section, she would smoke. And then the people that we even met at the course groups that we stayed with. Wherever we went, there was like a smoking crowd out back. They were lighting up. <laughs> and for her, she... I was like, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> she was like, she had all this negativity around smoking. Again. Judgment. Judgments around smoking. And the Holy Spirit just used the cigarettes as a symbol, again, as a whim to say, thank you for devoting your mm. life to spirit. Mm. And those things came in as well. And yeah. it was almost staggering how you would walk out of a gathering and then three, four, or five smokers would be around you, and you'd have mm -hmm. talking about God yeah. uh, with the smoke flying. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so you see, this is very different from a belief in good and bad and right and wrong. All we hear from the world is, is, is smoking kills you, and yet it's just a neutral symbol that the Spirit can use as a prop or backdrop for spiritual awakening in, instead of this he negative uses thing. everything. Use everything. And we I mean everything. That. Everything. <laughs> You know, it's all just for this looking at these attack thoughts in the mind where we're identified with the self or a concept, everything. I mean, even sexuality, uh, you know, these, whatever it is, he's using everything that we, you know, believe in still. I love that. He doesn't thrust anything away from us. Yeah. He says, I love you so much. Let's just get present with where you're at, with what seems to be important to you, that he will use it. I've just seen that all along. Yeah. It's grace. Yeah. Sexuality, relationships. A lot of times people have a lot of confusion around relationships, but mm. they, they feel like, you know, well, I can't have a relationship and be in relationship with God. But again, the whole course is a pathway of relationships, mm. using the symbols of relationships to heal the mind, to integrate the mind. So it's not this pathway of, of pushing away certain symbols and grasping on to certain symbols, it's more like you let go of the control mm. of all the symbols and you give it over to the Holy Spirit and say, this holy instant, what I give to you, be you in charge. Mm. Because the Holy Spirit knows how to unwind the mind. And so the very things that you have an aversion to, the very things you have a charge with, where you think, never again, or I'll, I'll, I'm going to be careful never to fall into that trap, or people do write to me, I got a, a message a few days ago where it's like, I really want to love God, but I, I don't want to fall into the special relationship. And it's like, wait a minute, the whole world as it was constructed as special relationships mm. with food, with people, with animals, with houses, with, with objects, with everything. And the Holy Spirit is saying, let me lift your mind up. Let me use the props now to take you into a, an experience of wholeness and completion. You see how different that is from thinking you already know what a special relationship looks like. And now you're going to do the forearm and hold yourself away from what you already believe 
the special relationship looks like, instead of saying, I don't have a clue about anything, Holy Spirit, and then it comes through you in glorious ways. So that's to me the a, a key point mm. with listen and follow, instead of telling the Holy Spirit, okay, I read the book, this is what I got from it, now I'm going to right, avoid this. Right, because I know this. even for me, like I would say, oh, that's special, I can't go there. Oh no, that's special. Oh no, that's dangerous ground there. <laughs> I better stay away from that. That is, I used to do even that with you. Yeah. I used to say, oh, no. <laughs> you know? oh, no. <clears throat> and I love what you said to me one time. It was really beautiful. And you said, we all got together through specialness. Like we couldn't have gotten together without specialness. And that the spirit would use that, you know, just to heal the mind. To purify. Like, to purify the mind. And so it was like so beautiful because it's like as you know as a course seeming student at the time it was like I wanted to have you know but how he uses all that for my awakening yeah yeah it's beautiful we also have with no private thoughts no people pleasing it's a beautiful context for people to just bring up their, their mm. thoughts and their feelings and then that helps speed things along too because mm. instead of like hemming and hawing, you know, you have expression sessions and then sometimes people will hear something that someone's expressing and then go, they'll get a prompt from the spirit. And that's all part of open communication. We're coming to see that we're one mind. But we do that by every day offering it up and sharing from the heart. So mm. that's what precedes these TV shows. We had a dance party today, mm -hmm. listening to the workbook and the text and workbook. And then a beautiful expression session. And By the we'll time you come out here, you know, you're, you're <laughs> wide open. You're bursting. <laughs> it's a setup. <laughs> it's a good life. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good life. Yeah, and after really? the show, it's lunch. <laughs> <laughs> well, there goes the morning. <laughs> and then I guess we'll have to take a nap. <laughs> Looks like a we siesta. We love our siesta. <laughs> And then we do it all again. It's, you know, it's like the joy of service. Yeah. You know, use my hands, use my feet, use my tongue, use my lips. I love being in service. I love, you know, I want to be used. You know, I love the experience of God singing through me or dancing through me or loving through me. Whatever it is, it's like it is not me that do these things, but my Father in heaven. And it's the strength of God. It's learning to step back and let him lead the way. So I feel like this, the, our life is just kind of this unfoldment of, of wonderment because they're like, we have, this as a plan now, which is so fun. It almost feels like we're playing in a playground that we get to just kind of share the miracles and share the blessings of forgiveness. It's a miracle. I just get so excited about this. I feel, you know, uh, just, just, I'm just feel so blessed in my life right now, just of the gift of forgiveness and just how powerful it is and, and the power of our minds and, and yeah, just that we can let go of attack thoughts and that they disappear and fear and doubt and unworthiness. These thoughts that we think that we're the only ones having and everyone, every, you know, I just feel like an honor, just my years at the monastery and, you know, supporting this opening for people to bring the darkness to the light. And I feel like that is our, like our life here. It's such a gift to be in this context of, of real healing. Um, yeah, I just, it's amazing to me. And this experience of love that I feel this connection with God, whatever it's not, I want to share that. I want to give it to my brother. I want to extend that good news because we, God's will for us is perfect happiness and, and, and that this works, the for forgiveness works. It is the key to happiness. So I just feel an honor just to use all this space to be in service, you know, for me to share the joy of, of healing, uh, the laughter. I love all the laughter. We are having, a, we are having a good time. Yeah. You know, that's one of the things Jesus, I always say that he got me with the laughter thing. <laughs> He got you hooked. He in got me life. hooked in line and singer. I, I need a good laugh. Yeah. You know what our lives remind us? I've, I always, <laughs> we, we watch so many movies, and I'm going to talk about a movie that goes Thank way you. back. Thank you, Kristen. I'm going to talk about a movie that, you know, our life reminds us of that, that, that movie, Cocoon, 
I don't know if you remember Cocoon. I do. Because this woman comes seemingly from outer space, and she's she looks like she's a regular flesh human being, but she's like a light being. You know, at some point we get to see this blazing light that's underneath the skin. Oh, right. I, I, I was thinking of that just because we watched Under the Skin. I know, and I was... There was this black thing. But I know. Cocoon, it's this light. And, and you remember the people who were in the, the original Cocoon, a lot of them are, are elderly. Oh, old. They're old. <laughs> and... Actually, we get so many young people coming in here. We have been called old. Well, listen, someone recently. expressed that at the expression center. Yes. This is old. This is old. <laughs> and being around old people, we are starting to get requests in our community now is, can I go to one of the younger communities? Because they don't like to be around the old people. So, so now, th this is the old. But, so, w I'm like Wilfred Brimley, and you're like... Maureen Stapleton. <laughs> we're like, it we're, just happened. we're in the cocoon it happened. movie. I was, <laughs> we're kind of like these light beings and we've got these things on. Okay. I know, and then someone says, oh, you're, you're old. I'm like, oh, am I? Because <laughs> I, feel, I feel like I'm 12 years old. But you remember you know, the movie. I'm not, remember, it's like, oh. They get excited. You know, the older ones get more energy, remember? Right, we're fine. They can up. dance yeah, and yeah. they can do all these things because they're into the spirit this it, we're getting in, rejuvenated by this purpose mm. that we're light oh, I and know, underneath I'm in love the, with these it. images you know we are light mm. and we aren't I, these. and and i just think it's kind of cute i love being called old now cuz i'm like, like me too. listen isn't that I'm the thinking, most wow, adorable thing i've really matured <laughs> you used to be the wild the young right. wild well, thing right, and now exactly be, i was that's like the like wild one compliment now for i know her, for you're me old. when people She's say like, i'm old i think really? oh really i'm oh. good oh my goodness well, well and you know what and the beautiful thing is the most beautiful thing is i i feel because i was just well you know david i was crazy smoking <laughs> drinking i was loving it all i tried it all and 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 the beautiful thing is is this seeming contentment that i feel right now I'm in such a contentment that I really need nothing more than what I have. And that's where all the gratitude comes from. Yeah. And and so it, it feels like yeah, and then someone told me I'm old, I'm thinking, Oh, I'm I, I think I need a rocker. You know? <laughs> Let me just be here <laughs> right. and be in this contentment. Yeah. You know, yeah. like it's that is all that it is. Yeah. Yeah. I think the funny thing too is you know, I mean over the years I've tried to just let the, <laughs> the parables come out whenever they do on the road, but but, uh, oh my God, if we ever sat down and put these down into a book, it would be so funny. Because it's it's all unwinding and undoing the self-concept, you know, that mm. Sarah was talking about. That's It's really all about that. And feeling lighter and lighter and lighter. You, you feel... I was just interviewed uh, as part of a Japanese teleconference, and I did a... Last Wednesday, I did a, an hour and ten minute segment, and then I did a live Q&A on, on Saturday, but... One of the questions was, how do you feel when you go through this transformation? What's it like? And I said, I was just on Lesson 136, where uh, Jesus says, you can tell you practice well by this. You know, the body should not feel at all, mm. well or ill. Mm. Uh, imagine going into a state of mind where you don't feel well or ill. Oh, wow. Uh, it's not human. It's, it's actually not human at all. It's a non-human, it's like a mystical experience that starts to become more consistent in your awareness. Imagine not having that dualistic thought system in your mind where it's constantly boing, boing, boing. Am I well or am I ill? Am I well or do I have, oh, am I feeling good or is there ache and pain? You know, without that whole barometer of back and forth of the human things, when that just fades away, and you have this stillness, this peaceful, serene tranquility and stillness where you're just watching the world. You know, that that is no small gift. Mm. Tranquility and serenity and peace of mind is no small gift. That's why we do the, the mind training. Mm. That's why we wake up at 6, 5.36, 6.30. That's why we do the lesson. That's why we have a spontaneous dance party or we have an expression session. We have one at lunchtime if needed. Movies. Anytime movies during the day mm. somebody's got an intense feeling coming up it's ready to move through like mm. a burp and and there's a spaciousness and love and, and one on ones all day long one on ones to let that move through right that this has become natural now this has become our we might say mode of living that's part of clearing the mind cleaning the mind refreshing mm. the mind 
And it's very practical. Mm. And it's not something you have to go live in a special place for. You know, you can feel what I'm talking about right now through this virtual sharing. And you can practice it every moment of every day. Will your needs be taken care of? Absolutely, yes. Mm. Uh, that's mm. the good news that we're sharing. Look at this, Carol. <laughs> at, <laughs> Kay's, Kay's like, yo, thumbs up. Everything is taken care of. And uh, does that mean that you, you'll seem to be here or there? It, it's however it seems in form, but we do have these times of rejoicing virtually, and then we I know we're going to have picnics. We'll probably end up right. just Right, and we have some virtual picnics. retreats coming up. It feels like that's the way that it's going, too, because we were, we used to do a lot of traveling, especially you, David, did a lot, but we've done a lot of retreats here in Utah. We've done them all Mexico. over Mexico, Hawaii. Oh. We've had many retreats throughout the world and this really really simplifies everything yeah maybe you can start gearing up like we have some dear friends down in brazil mm. um sapolo brazil who wanted to have a first of all 11 day retreat and we thought whoa 11 days and brazil's a <laughs> long way to fly from anywhere uh except from brazil <laughs> but uh even from brazil it's so massive it's a long way to fly from brazil well, even in mexico you said yeah. it was oh it's a it's a massive flight so <coughs> we we've actually evolved it down now to a four-day uh virtual retreat mm. where we're going to include uh portugal all the way across a different continent europe mm. and then brazil and south america and we'll do it hosted from here in camas so that's going to be the beginning end of March, beginning of April, but we're going to start to do more and more virtual retreats where they're, they're seeing the blessing too. Like instead of flying a few of us down business class for like $10,000, $10, uh, they can, we can do a virtual retreat for maybe tens or hundreds of people that touches the lives of many, many people over the internet instead of like flying a few bodies all the way across, mm. uh, down through the, to Brazil and back. So, you know, I've, I'm still open to, you know, being used, letting the body be used in that way of, of travel. But actually, I've been at it for quite a few years, about mm -hmm. a quarter of a century. And I think these virtual retreats are, are going to be very cost effective as well, you know, so we can let the light shine without having to get into so many logistics. Yeah, and I just want to share how simple it is. Mm. If if you were feeling called to to have um to have a, a virtual gathering that you wanted to join the way Brazil have decided to with us and David, it's not a, a, it's not as high tech as you would imagine. And and you're all here with us on Zoom right now. And I just you know invite you to embrace the idea of of the virtual. Um, of when I was really desiring to be here because of visa issues I had to spend nine months out of the country mm -hmm. and I discovered that the intimacy was identical actually I just really once I gave up the idea that I was somewhere else it was so intimate and they used to tell me that I had like the fifth bedroom in the peace house you know and and really that's what we're going for we're going for the fact that that we're all in this together here and now and allowing that intimacy and then I've met some that I've only joined virtually like this. And when I met them in <coughs> seeming in person, it was identical. And I just want to share that. Like it's it's a very real invite and very yeah. practical. So if you're feeling inspiration, you can you can totally get in touch with us at livingmiracles.org dot org yeah. uh, to contact at livingmiracles.org. dot org. And yeah. I remember coming over. Sarah had this lovely little house in a little cute town in Ireland called Tipperary mm. and going over there and she had spent hours and hours downloading all of these movies that we watched. She mm. would just listen, tune in virtually to what is it they're watching, what are they listening to. Nowadays we have YouTube and Spreaker and everything, but she would tune in and then she would download these movies and then it was when I came and visited her little house, it was no different. We, we watched a metaphysical movie that she had downloaded. We had our same discussions it was the same intimacy, yeah. and it, it just that was just a little glimpse of the vaster intimacy mm. of the mind, mm. because that's what we're always really going for, mm. the heart, a, a single heart and mm. a unified mind. Mm -hmm. And so that was very practical. Yeah, and you've all been using virtual already. That's what Spreaker is. That's, that's what Teacher of Teachers is, that absolutely wonderful website, which is in Spanish and Portuguese. 
and that is the entire contents of unwind your mind back to God. That's what I did before I came here. I sat with my headphones on because these are very early recordings and just listened with a really open heart. By the time I got to visit everyone here, I felt I knew everyone. I'm sure you all feel that about about us. I feel it about you. We're, I'm looking who's here this week, who's here. You're all in my heart. You know, yeah. it's very real to us. We talk about you over lunch. We're like, <laughs> oh, so-and-so was in today. And we're like, oh, great. <laughs> There's no separation, and this is just almost like we, a play to show it. We love the fam. It. We love the family. The fam is yeah. growing. <laughs> family the digital of life. fam. Right, yeah. the family of life. Yeah. So I just feel like to encourage you to, uh, to use what's already there and then open the mind to any inspiration that may be coming because we can do this in multiple languages. That's the exciting part. So for this Brazil one, we'll have Portugal in as well because they all speak Portuguese. And Chris so, translating from the English to the Portuguese and right. Portuguese back to English. So we'll have a, a maybe a camera <laughs> yeah. reserved for, for the translator, yeah. Yeah, and it's all very natural. And we're not high tech. We're just learning as we go. And that's part of the healing. So, yeah, if you have any inspiration, do do connect. Yeah. So did you t give the date for the Brazil? The Brazil one is from the 31st of March uh, for five days. And so is that open to the whole world? I mean, when you're yeah, saying it's I the Brazil? Yeah, I think it's optimal if you speak Portuguese. But if you speak English and you're, you're really into it, knowing that uh, there'll be a lot of Portuguese translation, you're so totally welcome. And it's going to be up shortly on our site. Um, which will be livingmiracles.org and it will be under events under under David. It's not there yet, but shortly it'll be up. Right, and I think Jeff is working with that. Jeff, yeah. um, isn't for that Brazil retreat, we're going to actually have like a collaborative thing for like five days, right? All of us yeah, extending and sharing. It's it really like a fun yeah. thing. I mean, that's been the that's been a new way that we've been doing things and I'm in love with that is that everybody's part is essential and that every one of us play a part in that. So everybody here gets to extend and, yeah. Yeah, you can have fun. And then also, sometimes when I travel around the world, I people always say, oh, my English is terrible. And then they, they talk to me and I understand everything that mm, they're saying. Mm. And I said, well, you actually, your English isn't terrible. It's actually quite good. They say, oh, I watched a lot of movies. So, so they watch <laughs> movies all over the world from Hollywood. They learn the language, and maybe if any of you have a whim for a for whim. moving into Portuguese instead of uh, one of these like uh, sh things that you practice with, you can actually enjoy. And sometimes people have told me that uh, they actually at first had reactions and resistances to the back and forth between mm. the English and the French mm. or the English and the Portuguese or whatever. But then they they feel the vibe of because. The Holy Spirit will slow my voice down. It slows all of us down mm. uh, when the when the translator goes, I, help, mm. you know, it's too fast. And then they get to really feel the presence. They hear what's beneath mm. the words, the meaning, the love, the presence underneath the words. So mm. it actually turns into a blessing. And they sometimes end up learning. Uh, my friend in Kentucky, she learns new languages mm. from listening to all my uh, translating mm. things. She's actually expanding her horizon oh, a great way to learn and languages. learning languages <laughs> through listening to all forget my Forget Rosetta my Stone. <laughs> yes, forget Rosetta Transcend Stone. languages with David yeah. Hoffmeister. Uh, like Mary in Kentucky. Yeah. She's doing that. She's learning languages through listening to all my talks that have been translated back mm. and forth. Yeah. And, and there's something about, like you said, the translators don't um, get stuck because they don't know a word. It seems that way, but it's because the meaning has not fully landed and the understanding. And that's really beautiful to feel that that osmosis, that there isn't it's not the words. It's the joining and the intimacy and the open mm. mind because the spirit's speaking in your mind to you all the time. That's really what you're listening to. So yeah. how could you be excluded yeah. from it? So. And my friend Chris, who's going to be translating the Portuguese, you know, she's she's very tuned in and it was beautiful with the times I've gone and the things she's translated. But I have to say over the years, I've had some experiences where where the translator shows up, I show up, and there have been times, it sounds a bit like Pentecost uh, from back in the days of the Bible, where everybody was speaking in tongues, where the Spirit will deliver the same message, not in a simultaneous translation, but it will deliver the same messages in two different languages simultaneously. So that my 
translator is no longer translating for me, mm. but she she's taking it down in the Spanish and I'm giving it in the English simultaneously. People at the gatherings were blown away because it was such a, an experience of one-mindedness. It wasn't like the English would come first and then the Spanish. It was they came simultaneously. Very much like in Pentecost, mm -hmm. we know that the, the Spirit poured through in many different languages simultaneously. So this is all just symbols of one mind, how unified we all mm -hmm. are. And those are coming, and even my friend Donna Marie Carey would receive lyrics from Spirit, sing it, but one time she went on stage and she channeled for the first time a song simultaneously, never having heard the song before. Mm -hmm. And her husband at the end of the song, Lynn was saying, or uh, was his, her husband, he said, I, I, that's the most amazing song, Wh where is it? And she said, it didn't come until the moment. She, she said, I literally channeled the song. And he said, what do you mean? And she said, I just channeled it right then. Mm. And he said, well, where is it? It's gone. They didn't, nobody recorded it. That was the one and only time mm. it was sung on the planet and it, because it was not given ahead of time. Mm. You know, it came. It, and it appeared funny. and disappeared. It appeared and disappeared, yeah. like <laughs> everything else on the planet, really. It's just the illusion that we can record things yep. and get things ahead of time. That's just a trick. Mm. So but that was amazing, too. That is amazing. Yeah. Yeah, well, listen, uh, the thing is, is what I want to also do is talk about, and I don't know if you're the one even to talk about it, but, you know, there's all of these opportunities even for support here and collaborating, even with volunteers and translators. Yes. And, you know, they're like, that's really how, how we've met each other. Uh -huh. Actually, all of us have felt this call to support and even to put it out there for any volunteers or collaborators or interpreters, translators. You know, that we always can use the support. So, Kristen, are you the one that <laughs> needs to talk about that? I don't know why I'm here, and it's like, let's share it. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, we have, I mean, it looks like we run a ministry, actually. So we have any number of things, any number of tasks, projects, and um, they're fantastically helpful for the mind just as a focus and a support and um, to flush up resistances and blocks and things so um that's really the purpose behind it is to really um to deepen in the relationship with the holy spirit to really be listening and following in what you're given as a task and collaboration with with us with others so um just keeping that in mind we have about a million different opportunities from <laughs> <laughs> there's no lots a million. Oh wow. So and we have nation builder. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um so everything from uh, as Sarah was saying, translating, um, we have transcribing, we record just about everything. So there's lots to be put onto paper which then gets, you know, shared and um made into publications and things and different opportunities with our publications. Um I always call it a department, but it's just like two people. It's kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Sounds official. A corporation. Our department. <laughs> That's great. So, um, yeah, uh, proofreading, um, translating, transcribing, <clears throat> um, editing. Video uh, editing. Video yeah. editing. Audio editing. Video editors. Designers. Um, designers, yes. Translations for YouTubes. Foreign yes. translations so that the YouTubes can have the, yeah. whatever, the Japanese or the German or Russian, whatever. That's a really hot one, actually. That's really hot. <laughs> Just to get the to get the message spread in all these different languages. Because people will call me and say, I'd love to see this in Japanese. And I would say, great, you're the one. <laughs> <laughs> you're hearing it. <laughs> Thank you for responding. <laughs> yeah, so um, you can go to our website, livingmiraclecenter.org, and um, maybe Jeff or Andy can put this into the chat window, but there's two areas to register your interest with us. One is collaborate, and it has things more like, yes, I'd love to host David, or um, if you're ever passing through the area, let me know because my house is available. That sort of thing, like, I always think of it like an us coming to you. And then there's volunteering, which is another area that you can um, register your interest with and that's going to have um, all of the different ways to kind of come in deeper with us. Um, 
transcribing, translating, etc. Right, and we even have opportunities for people to come and stay with us, too. I feel like that's really important, too, because it feels like we're in some rebirth here. It feels really beautiful. It's Christmas time, and it just feels like this new, fresh thing that's happening. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to meeting all these new people, uh, these new uh, mighty companions. And I just feel like it really is a collaborative thing. And just even the value, I love what you were saying about, you know, the purpose it's about relationships. It's really not about the volunteering. It's really not about the projects, but it's really about healing the mind and looking at the obstacles in the mind. Like everything serves the purpose to remove the blocks, the awareness of love's presence. And so I just feel like, uh, we have a monastery, we have Mexico, we have, uh, Camas here. And, uh, it's been just, it's been so fun this collaborative vibe, even in this show that we come together, really, it seems like we have these projects to work on, but it really isn't about the projects. It's really about us coming together to heal our minds. And I love that, uh, that the purpose is that we're coming together and then having the spirit work through us and for us. So it's miraculous to watch it actually, you know, and, and it's such a great opportunity. We even have a uh, month long stays people can come for. Uh, you can come and visit us for a month uh, with your skills. And the beautiful thing is, is we have a volunteer application. I'm not sure where we have that at on our website, but it's, it's really beautiful because you kind of put down what your skills are. And then we go into prayer and see how that can be used for the ministry. And that's actually how all of us came together. You know, that that was really what happened is we came in and we said, you know what, I'm going to try this out for a month. You know, and see how this, you know, is this supportive? And then it kind of evolved from that. But it just feels like these great opportunities, especially with the new year coming in, new projects, virtual. It just feels really fun and exciting that we're, like, extending and expanding or growing or something. I don't know. It's, it feels big. So I just want to put it out there for everybody. Just there's practical ways to apply A Course of Miracles, forgiveness. Yeah. I can see where, you know, with most of our questions, even on, would you like to host David for a gathering, you know, it could have a, it could be, you know, kind of in person or virtually, we could put those options. And I, I can see where, you know, in the past where there's different groups and churches and things that kind of spring out like a strawberry plant all mm. over the place. But, but with the virtual, you know, it's like you could, you could even be kind of like the, the host of a, virtual community, you know, as we, sometimes people have always thought like, oh, I've got to leave where I am and go to where they are, you know, that's starting to collapse pretty rapidly, mm -hmm. that where I am and where they are is going to just keep collapsing and collapsing and collapsing, and then this idea of, of virtual, you know, with Skype, a lot of time with us with Skype video or Zoom and these new technologies, those are great reflections of how it's all connected. And so I think we will probably end up having a lot more uh, virtual volunteers in the long run <laughs> than we do uh, what seems to be physical mm. volunteers. Because mm. it's the spirit orchestrating the use of all the skills and abilities. And there's no boundaries. There's no time and space there when you start to just see, oh, what brings me joy? How can I extend? How can I share? Uh, the virtual is, instead of being like an afternote, which it's been a lot of times over throughout history, oh, and oh, the, you can do that also virtually, and then it starts to swing around mm. to just a way of being, a way of life. It's mm. our keynote, and on that note, we have Anna Lee, and I have a feeling it's a it's good moment to bring her in. Okay. So she has been um, virtually attending everything right now so mm. perhaps she's hoping to share her experience i'd imagine oh that's beautiful yeah. England, hi right? annalee yes time huh? zones are nothing hi um i just um had a thought that especially if you were feeling like you had nothing to offer that would be a good reason to sign up <laughs> yeah absolutely. Annalie, you just you just sign up you say hi i want to get in <laughs> <laughs> and I give you a call and we just talk about it. Yeah. 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 Um, and yeah, and that's for this. I, I have said before, and I'll say it again, that um, 
um, I in the dream I seemed to be someone with uh, the body does nothing in, in a wheelchair so I had prayed for the last two years to be able to join somehow and um, I didn't know how Holy Spirit was going to make it how how it would arise but um, it arose <laughs> <laughs> it, it happened so um, I'm just really really grateful really really grateful so oh that's beautiful <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, well, look, it's like 10 or 12. <laughs> okay, it's gone by. The morning is gone. <laughs> yeah, we're loving this, aren't we? This is yeah. great. Okay, Eric, are you ready to play a song? Yeah. Maybe we can go ahead and play a song and and you sing can us, sing, us, sing out. us out you can sing us down the river <laughs> before you start singing just because uh i think the next show is on wednesday uh and i know that you guys are all tuning in and following is so beautiful and you know i feel like since today was the first show really officially launching it you know we might be going five days a week I, we're we're just really praying about that yeah yeah it's, a, it's all on what serves, what really, really serves. Yeah. Right. So, Eric, uh, before you start, I want to say thank you all for joining us. And it's really, really beautiful. We just feel really, really grateful just to share in the love of God and awake in the heart. <clears throat> and David, it's such a blessing. You know, for you, listen. You should be here every day. It's fun. <laughs> it's fun for me to walk down the hall. No kidding. Yeah, right? I know, yeah. I know, you know, I know. From all the travels, you know. I know, it's so easy. Searches in the airport, driving here, luggage, and this gosh, and that. Listen, and that. Like, it's, stroll down the hall. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> so it's been wonderful to have you with us. Thank okay. you for having me here. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Eric. Okay, love you guys. Heaven is perfect, heaven is perfect right now. Heaven is perfect, and heaven is here right now. Everything else that I seem to see, it doesn't really matter because it's got no reality. All I really want is to remember heaven within Spirit is perfect, my spirit is perfect right now Spirit is perfect, and spirit is what I am now Everything else that I seem to be It doesn't really matter cause it's not my reality All I really want is to remember the spirit I am And I don't have to fall from grace ever again I can just relax and listen to your voice, beloved friend I hear you calling me back to the home I never left singing Heaven is perfect Heaven is perfect right now Heaven is perfect and Heaven is here right now Everything else that I seem to see Doesn't really matter cause it's got no reality All I really want is to remember Heaven within Cause heaven is perfect Yeah, heaven is perfect right now Heaven is perfect, and heaven is here right now. Spirit is perfect.
perfect My spirit is perfect right now Spirit is perfect Spirit is what I am now Heaven is perfect And heaven is here right now Woohoo! Yay! Thank you all! Please join us again Wednesday at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Uh, thank you so much. It's a blessing to share this good news with everyone. Okay, Jeff and Andy, you guys have anything you want to say? Thank you for joining us. Love you. Okay, thank you all. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. 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 Thanks. <laughs>